Greetings in the name of Jesus Christ. Today's thought is from Isaiah chapter 44, <coughs> verse 8. Isaiah 44, verse 8. Do not fear, nor be afraid. Have I not told you from that time and declared it? You are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me? Indeed, there is no other rock. I know not one. There is no other God except our living Lord, Saviour, Jesus Christ. Here the Lord is encouraging his people by saying like this, do not fear nor be afraid. In another version, it is mentioned like this, do not be troubled nor be afraid. Because God says here, have I not told you from that time and declared it? The Lord is keep on asking us keep on telling us and keep on proving that he is our lord and almighty god that's why he is telling his people from the time from the beginning i am keep on saying to you do not be troubled nor be afraid whenever we are going through time of fear our heart goes through trouble whenever we are going through troubled heart immediately the fear grips our heart and also the troubled heart and the fearful heart will take away the hope from our heart. Whatever the hope we have in Jesus, it will be removed when the trouble and fear comes to your heart. That's why here God says, do not fear, nor be afraid. Let not your heart be troubled. God wants to strengthen your heart. God wants to encourage you. Many times God has declared, God has revealed his glorious power in our life. So he will do continuously and he will encourage you. He will be with you. He will do marvelous things. Shall we do a word of prayer? Let's pray. Lord, many times our heart is going through fear and trouble, Lord. Lord, remove every fear from our heart. Change our heart. Let every troubled heart be changed and let them have a peace and quietness in their heart, O oh God. Let your presence be with them, Lord. Bless them. Encourage them, Lord. Let this day be a day of miracle for your children. Many times you have revealed your marvelous sand in our life. Let your presence continuously be with them. Bless them, guide them. Bless them abundantly, Lord. Let this day be a day of encouragement. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.